So here we have um, the box from the Marla Watch Company. Um, and I just love the class. Even this is just the, the, the packaging that they post on, but just even looking at the, the packaging just shows you there's uh, something very special inside. And when you pull the, the tab underneath, beyond or, or beyond expectations. Um, I was just so excited when this arrived and I just couldn't wait to open it. So I had to check the materials in there, but hopefully you'll enjoy the rest of the unboxing. When you open the box up, you're greeted um, with this wonderful um, little backstory about the Coniston, the Coniston watch, um, and I shall read it out for you. Uh, Courage is not being fearless. Words spoken whilst pushing the boundaries of physics and speed. Donald Campbell was no stranger to life endangering challenges of extreme engineering. We started this project with a competition to name our next watch. Little did we know it would result in a journey of such intrigue and excitement, though discovery of the Bluebird K7 and Campbell's fateful end to the challenges of bringing to the market, a watch that is fresh and unique, yet combines everything we have learned over the past three years. Here we are, the Coniston is before you, the product of a year's development, prototyping and production. We have taken the best bits from our preceding four designs and brought them all together in our new flagship timepiece. We hope you like it and want to thank you once more for supporting us to the future and whatever it may hold, Oliver and Gordon. Now, it just, it's just already, you know, it just, that's, that's what a watch should be. You know, it fills you with excitement. You know, you just, you know, you're, you, you're not just investing in a timepiece that you're gonna wear and love, you, you're investing in an idea and the creation of something pretty special. And all that from a micro brand already is, is, is just brilliant. So in the booklet inside, you get about the, um, you get the booklet about all the watch ops. I don't wanna show you inside because obviously I'll, I'll give away the watch and what it looks like. But this is a wonderful booklet about everything about the, um, the Coniston which is a first edition, um, but yeah, absolutely fantastic. Then inside, take out the rest of the package in there, and then you get the wonderful Marla watch box, which is inside. Now, again, this is the actual watch box, absolutely fantastic. And let's have a look in here. Superb, and there is the Coniston. Marla Watch Company, number 399 of 1000, first edition. And this is a bit of the details about the watch. Um, it's 40 millimeters diameter, lug width is 20 millimeters, and the thickness is 10.5. The movement itself is a Myota 8N33, uh, manual mechanical, 21,600 beats per hour, 40 plus hour, Power reserve with an accuracy of minus 15 to plus 25 seconds a day. 316 um, stainless steel case, 100 meters water resistance, sapphire crystal with AR coating on the underside, I believe. Um, BGW9 luminous layer, sapphire exhibition case back, and it weighs 64.9 grams. So, yeah, nothing to say other than let's do the reveal. Look at that. I mean, it is an absolute beauty of a watch. And I should go into a little bit more detail about that in just a second. But even just the packaging again, even on the underside, beyond all expectations. I mean, the, the time it takes, you know, and, and the cost as well, you know, and for not a lot of money, I think this watch offers great value for money. Um, and the fact that what you're getting as well um, is that incredible um, you know, journey from not just um, you know, their company, but the history of the UK as well. Absolutely fantastic. So, there we go. I think it has the protective layer on, which I'll take up in a minute. And that wonderful Marlow. I've gone for the leather. You can pick your own, um, there's a multitude of straps that you can that you can pick. Um, I wanted the black just because I liked it. <laughs> but yeah, um, let's get some good shots when I take it off this cushion. Absolutely fantastic. Um, the watch itself is just absolutely fantastic. And I've gone with the C 
silver sort of sunburst dial, which is very similar to um, my daily driver, which, which I use, um, which is a Hamilton. I'll just take it off and give you a quick show. And as you can tell there, I, I've got some, I, got a, I just love this silver sort of um, face. And this Hamilton khaki, it's just um, my daily one that I use. And it's just absolutely fantastic. I love it. It's just a really good all round watch that I can bash around and not worry too much about. But I just love that silver dial. And so when I saw the silver dial on this particular one, I just knew that was the one for me. And it's just a, a wonderful movement. You know, it's just a, a really nice sweep. And there is the skeletonized Myota movement on the back. And even there you see Coniston Marlowe, a watch company designed in Britain. Uh, courage is not being fearless. I mean, absolutely wonderful. I'm just gonna take off the little uh, protective strip there. And there we go. There we go. And <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you can see the, um, I think they've gone with that not just because it has a good track record. You can see there, Lady Japan, the actual movement. Um, and, you know, it's just a wonderful movement. Hopefully you're picking that up um, pretty well. And it's skeletonized, so it shows off the movement as well, which is just really, really nice. You see the escapement wheel, just, you know, the pallet, uh, the pallet fork underneath. Yeah, it's just absolutely wonderful movement. And the fact that you wear it, when you wear it, you know, you wind it up, it's, it, you, know, you, you know, it's just a part of you then, isn't it? You know, and that's um, one of the biggest draws um, for me. But yeah, wonderful movement, um, lovely um, leather, uh, straps, um, you know, it may not be everybody's cup of tea, but I like it. Um, again, I like that sort of vintagey sort of look. Um, Marlow watch company there, and it also has it on the buckle as well. So, with it being a high polish sort of um, case, it's probably going to be a bit of a fingerprint magnet, but um, it doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, look at it. Um, and one of the, a couple of the other things as well, I think there's a protective layer on there as well, which I'm just going to remove. Ooh, nice and brand new, look at that. So, you get that lovely, I just, I, I think that's a really interesting dial. You have that red, um, you know, uh, sweeping hand, you know, it's just the second hand, I think it just really sort of, you know, gives it a little bit of pop, you know, with the red, um, you know, Numbers on the outer chapter ring there, designed in Britain. And it's just such a wonderful, sort of unassuming timepiece, but it has a lot of, when you, you know, at a glance, you probably would sort of, you know, glance over it, but, you know, if it catches your eye, you know, it just really pulls you into that dial and that wonderful, um, you know, crown, which is, um, you know, has the logo on it. Lovely sort of knurling there on that, which is really nice and grippy. You know, it's a really smooth movement to, to wind up as well. So yeah, absolutely fantastic. And the other thing as well is with the, um, you can see the luminescent markers, it's like three on the, oh, sorry. And as you can see, there's on the, you can see the three markers there on the end, which are, are filled with loom, and then the two on the other. And when they line up, they um, actually, you know, make a solid line, which is really, really cool. But on the outside, you can see the white there. Um, that is a, a, a loom moat. So that's filled with loom. And I should get a loom shot, hopefully, in just a moment to show you um, the loom, because that's where this thing really jumps out as well in the dark. Really sort of, um, you know, makes you <laughs> smile like a young kid when you get your very first torch or something. It's just that sort of real excitement. And so obviously it's just absolutely fantastic. But I should do the loom shot next. You can see the loom moat there, and absolutely fantastic. And it really is a glow monster. Um, I have the light turned down a little quite a way, so you can really see that glow. And I mean, absolutely fantastic, you know. I mean, I'm just so pleased. <laughs> I mean, look at it, it's crazy. And there it is in complete darkness. Um, yeah, there's literally, I mean, it even lights up the, the outer chapter ring. You can see the stroke of the second hand on the outer ring on that loom moat. Ah, oh, it's just, it's just gorgeous. And there we 
go guys, it's on my wrist. Really comfortable, can't wait to get out and about and show this off. Absolutely fantastic. Just can't wait to get out with it, you know? Just a really smart dapper dress watch as well. And I mean, I just think that, you know, you know these, some of these micro brands really go, really go out and just really make it their own. You know, and this is the booklet. I mean, it's just got all the relevant information and the different sort of, you know, colors that they do. And it's just an absolutely fantastic, you just get so much information. And the fact that Oliver and Gordon, and there they are, and you know, they, they make and design these watches, absolutely fantastic. I mean, I do have a selection of watches with, you know, Swiss movements. Um, this is my first watch with the Myota movement, and I'm not complaining at all. It's a fantastic looking movement, and um, yeah, just really, really, really chuffed. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. If you liked it, please think about leaving a like and maybe a comment down below. And if you would like, you can always subscribe as well. Thank you very much and take care.